Welcome back, KMS. How was your long Thanksgiving break? My name is Akaya Rowe. I hope it was fantastic for all of you like it was for me. My name is Gandhi Gaff. We're thankful for having the opportunity to be with you in the KMS show. This is episode 9, season 4, you. We hope you all enjoyed your break and recharge your batteries for another new week. Actually, for the next three weeks, we have a half before winter break. That's true. I can't believe we're almost at the end of the year. And also at the end of the quarter. Well, we better pay attention to our grades then. Of course, let's do all we have to do to keep our grades up. Absolutely. Okay, let's get started with some important information. That's right. Did you know that the current photo drive is here? Does that have something to do with the yearbook? Exactly. The photo drive is a way for everyone at Curtin to collaborate with the yearbook staff. And this is not only for students, but also for teachers. The yearbook is everybody's job. If you have pictures from the Halloween dance, school sports, Thanksgiving celebrations, or anything related to school events, you can share them with us. Just go to the link you see on the screen, enter the school code, and share your amazing pictures. Cool activities in the classroom? Share with us. Club activities? Share with us. Go to the website you see on the screen and enter the school code current. Fill out the form and share your pictures for the yearbook. Let's talk about sports. We have soccer and basketball tryouts this week. Boys and girls are excited for this season. What is we meet some of the students trying out for soccer? Of course, there are soccer players looking for a spot in the team. Our reporter Chris Lynn interviews some students trying out for soccer. Well, let's watch it. Hi, I'm Chris Lynn, and I'm going to be interviewing students about soccer. Skylar, why are you trying out for soccer? Uh, because I've played for a little while, so I think I could make it. How do you think the season's going to go? I think it's going to go good because my sister's trying out too. I think it's fun and I've been playing it for a while. Is it your first time trying out? Yes. How do you think the season's going to go? Good. It's gone. Why are you trying out for soccer? Because I enjoy playing the game and I believe that I'm experienced. Is it your first time trying out? Yes. Because I like to play soccer. Is it your first time? Um, no. How do you think the season's gonna go? Um, I'm not really sure because I don't know too many people on the team. Emma? Why are you trying out for soccer? Because I was on the team last year. How do you think the season's gonna go? Um, it depends who tries out. Because of the girls on the team. How do you think the season's gonna go? I think it's gonna go pretty good. Caitlin, why are you trying out for soccer? Because I like to play soccer and my friend convinced me to try out. Is it your first time? Yeah. Thanks for watching. That was some interesting comments from our future soccer players. Yeah, now let's meet some of our future basketball players. Sounds great. Our reporter Chloe interviews some students trying out for basketball. Hi guys, today we're going to be interviewing KMS students on girls and boys basketball. Hi guys, today I'm here with... Landon. Why are you trying out for basketball? Because I like it. What position do you play? Point and shooting guard. Do you think the team will be good this year? Yeah. Hi guys, today I'm here with... Maya. Why are you trying out for basketball? I just think it's a fun sports play. What position do you play? Point guard. Do y'all think you'll be good this year? Yeah, I think we'll be good this year. Thank you. Hi guys, today I'm here with... Talia. Why are you trying out for basketball? Because I like the sport and it's fun. What position do you play? Offense. Do you think the team will be good this year? <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> Thank you. Hi guys, today I'm here with... Joel. Why are you trying out for basketball? Oh, it's a thing that's been in my family for a while now. What position do you play? Either power forward or center. And do you think the team will be good this year? Yeah, I'm hoping. Thank you. Make sure you try out for the girls and boys basketball to go shoot some hoops. This week we'll be really excited with trials. Good luck for all of you and enjoy the journey. That was all about sports this week. What is next? Well, you know we always like to ask about favorites. I know. Your favorite this, your favorite that, but what if this time somebody asks for your two favorites? Well, that's what Layla was doing when asking students about their two favorite class periods this year. Let's see it. KMS, I'm Layla, and today I'm going to be interviewing some students. I'm here with? I'm Array. And if you could choose two periods for the whole day, what would they be? Probably second and fifth. Why? Because they're just my favorite classes, and fifth is gym, and I love gym. I'm here with? DeAndre. And if you had to pick two periods to be in for the whole day, what would they be? Third and seventh. 
Why? Because I got friends and I just like the teachers in there. You're with? Diamond. And if you had to choose two pairs to be in for the whole day, what would they be? First and fourth. Why? Um, because they're fine. I'm here with? Hayden. If you had to choose two pairs to be in for the whole day, what would they be? Second and seven. Why? Because Ms. Lay and Mr. Gear are the best teachers. Thanks for watching KMS. Once again, I'm late for you. What do you like about school or what do you not like about it? Hmm, well, there are some things I like and dislike. Yeah, me too. Nothing can be perfect, right? I reported Carly, asked some students about their likes and dislikes about school. Hi everyone, today we're going to be interviewing students about what they think about the school. JC, what's your favorite thing about the school? Health. If you can change one thing, what would it be? Um, to change the dress code. And if you were principal for one day, what would you do? Add mirrors to all the bathrooms. Civics. If you can change one thing about the school, what would it be? Our dress code. Cecilia. What's your favorite thing about this school? I guess the teachers. The teachers and students. If you can change one thing, what would it be? To probably have mirrors in the bathroom and stuff. Chase. What's your favorite thing about this school? Uh, the teachers. And what would you change? Or if, there, if you could change one thing, what would it be? Um, less homework. And if you were a principal for one day, what would you do? A lot of things that you learn. If you could change one thing, what would it be? The amazing house priest thing on the sidewalk. Mm, Mari's. What's your favorite thing about the school? Mm, the classrooms. If you could change one thing, what would it be? Mm, have classrooms look. And if you were principal for one day, what would you do? I would make schools look nicer. That's all for today. Have a nice day. Bye. Would you be a teacher when you grow up? If so, what would you teach? Well, I really don't know if I could be a teacher, but if I were, I think I would teach math. That's cool. I think I would teach English. I refer to Casey interviewed some students about what subject would they teach if they had to. Can't wait to hear those responses. With Ariana Lise, Kevin, Harrison, Damien, Christina, Christopher. What subject would you teach and why? Science so they could learn more about nature than, than, than the internet. History because I could be like a historian or something because I know a lot about it and stuff. Um, history and geography. And mainly because I studied it for years and I just in general like the subject. What subject would you teach and why? Gym. Why? Because I like running. Thank you. Uh, science. Why? Because uh, science is interesting. What subject would you teach and why? Band, because well, right now I'm working on it and eventually I'll be really good. Thank you. Is there something that really annoys you? Yeah, I'm pretty sure everyone has at least something that annoys them. Yeah, well in this video, our reporter Madison asks about the biggest pet peeves around her. Let's see what some people have to say. Hey guys, I'm Madison and today we're going to be interviewing students about what's their biggest pet peeve and why. Today I'm here with Riley. And what is your biggest pet peeve? When people talk during class. And why does this bother you so much? Because when people talk during class, you don't really know what's happening, and if the teacher's saying something, you can't really hear them. Uh, loud people. And why does this bother you so much? Because they like to scream in my ear. Okay. My siblings. And why does this bother you so much? Um, because they are very annoying, and they bother me way too much. Just when people eat in my ear. And why does this bother you so much? Because it's annoying and disgusting. When people fart. And why does it bother you so much? Because it's fake. When people be smacking. And why does it bother you so much? It's just aggravating. Okay. Bye guys, thanks for watching. Going back to favorites, we all at least have one favorite fast food. Oh yeah, I definitely have one. Me too. Our reporter Ariella went around the school and interviewed some students about their favorite fast food. My favorite is Chick-fil-A, but let's find out about other students at Kern. 
Hi KMS, I'm Ariella and I'm gonna run interviewing students about what their favorite fast food place is. I'm here with Lucas. Lucas, what is your favorite fast food place? Chick-fil-A. And why? Chicken sandwich. Jackson. And I like Chick-fil-A because <laughs> the chicken sandwich is good. I'm here with Alanis. Alanis, what is your favorite fast food place? Taco Bell. <laughs> why? I don't know, just because. Layla and Chick-fil-A because it's really good. I'm here with Eva. Eva, what is your favorite fast food place? Popeyes. And why? Because I like their spicy chicken sandwiches. Rachel, and my favorite fast food restaurant is Jollibee because the food's really good. My name is Ashley and my favorite fast food place is Chick-fil-A because everyone is really polite. My name is Eli, and my favorite fast food place is Whataburger because the burgers are good. Thanks for watching, KMS! On the topic of food, what food would you eat for the rest of your life? Mm, this one's hard. Yeah, be careful what you pick for this one. It could be for the rest of your life. I prefer not having to pick, but our reporter Riley was asking students about that. Here he is. Spaghetti. Why spaghetti? Because it's good. Chick-fil-A. Why Chick-fil-A? Because it's good. Uh, I'd have to say sushi. Why sushi? Cause it's sushi. Steak. Why? Uh, because I like it grilled and my dad makes it good. Chicken tenders. Why? Because they're good. Cheeseburgers. Why? Cause they're good. Why? Cause I like ramen. Okay, thank you. Pickles. Why pickles? I love pickles. Chick-fil-A. Why Chick-fil-A? It's the best thing on the planet. <laughs> crabs. Why crabs? Because they're good. Chicken. Why chicken? Because it's yummy. Pancakes. Why pancakes? Because pancakes are very delicious. Thanks for watching KMS. Hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for the next episode. Favorite pets. Not too popular pets, most weird animals. This video made by Isabella is everything about animals. Let's watch it. KMS, I'm Isabella Doyle, and today I'm gonna to be interviewing some students on what is their favorite animal and why. Your name? Sincere. And if you were to be an animal, what would you be? A cat. Why? Because I like cats and they fast. And if you were to be an animal, what would you be? Panda. Why? Because they're lazy. And if you were to be an animal, what would you be and why? I would be a tiger because their pattern is really pretty. <laughs> and if you were to be an animal, what would you be? A uh, cheetah. Why? Because um, I'm, I like running. I'm here with... Kaylin. And what is your favorite animal? Kangaroo. And why? Because they're big and strong. And if you were to have an animal as a pet, what would it be? Um, two dogs. And what is your favorite animal? Why? They look cute, I guess. And if you were to have an animal as a pet, what would it be? Husky. And what is your favorite animal? A peacock. Why? Because it's a rainbow. And if you were to have an animal as a pet, what would it be? A dog. What is your favorite animal? Bunny. Why? Because they're really soft. And if you were to have an animal as a pet, what would it be? Cat. You didn't even press record! I'm supposed to hear it. Yeah, it's no, you're supposed to hear that. Da -da -da. And that was it. That's another week in the KMS show. We are so happy and thankful for the opportunity to be with all of you every week. And remember, if you have a YouTube channel, don't forget to go to KMS TV Productions and like and subscribe. You can also follow us on Instagram. We are Mr. Dorlet Class KMS. And the same user for our TikTok account. Join us to have a lot of fun. We have three more weeks in 2021, so hang in there and keep doing your best. And don't forget to be kind to every person, every classroom, every day. See you next week again for our next episode in the KMS. Season, Season for you. you.